come on we all know that how you can adjust the scale and position but do you know how you can adjust the scale and position while maintaining the perspective of any photo or video in adobe premiere pro let's find it out how we can do that but first let's see what we are going to make after finishing this tutorial please subscribe to my youtube channel just not subscribe enable notification for all updates to get more premiere pro tutorials so here you can see we have placed a screen record which is this one if i go to the folder this is the screen record i have placed this screen record on top of this image which is not that much great to work with in adobe premiere pro you can see the phone perspective is not straight so that we can just place that screen record on top of it so we have to find a way where we can adjust the position and scale while maintaining the perspective to match with the smartphone properly right so first what you need to do you have to input this to image and video here in adobe premiere pro then you have to make a new sequence i will make a 4k sequence i am just going here on the sequence and from here i'll just make it 3840 which is the horizontal frame size and 2160 which is the vertical frame size then i will name it maybe screen record then i'll click okay right first you need to place the background image here on the timeline and then you can just extend the background how long you want to make the screen record right so this is the background image now you have to place the screen record on top of it if i just click and drag it here you can see we have placed the screen record now if you try to match the screen record scale and position you can just click here and then you can try to match it with the phone you can change the rotation maybe a little bit and then you can see the perspective is not matching we cannot able to place this section this corner here on the phone right it is not looking great so how you can do that you have to use a special effect which is corner pin corner pin will help you to match with the smartphone perspective properly right so go to effects panel if you don't see effects panel then you have to go to window and from here you have to enable effects panel then search for corner pin this one we have to apply this effect on top of my screen record right click and drag it and then place it here on top of your screen record just release it then go to effects control panel if you don't see effects control panel you need to go to window and there you'll see effects control just enable it then you'll see this panel will appear you can adjust the position of the pin from here also from this section or you can just select the corner pin then you can click and drag it here to match with the smartphone perspective uh, you have to remember that this effect is not accelerated by your gpu or cpu so it will not work very fast you have to be very patient while you are using this effect right you can maybe zoom in it little bit or you can just press tilde key while you are on the program panel and then you can adjust it properly right make sure that corner is not visible from the outside of your smartphone area right then you have to again mask it right i will just make it a little bit shorter so that it doesn't overflow so that's it if i play it back now you can see the screen record have been placed properly on top of my smartphone right so from here i'm going to use the screen record so i have to trim out this section to delete this portion i have to press q and then i'll just play back to see where i want to end it maybe here after selecting notification for all right and maybe i will add a voiceover so to add a voiceover i have to click here right click and then go to voiceover settings and from here select the microphone that you want to use and then close and now record the voiceover i will maybe say please subscribe to my youtube channel just not subscribe enable notification for all updates to get more premiere pro tutorials so that's it i have recorded my voiceover and now i want to have a zoom in effect on top of it right to enable the zoom in effect you have to go to your project panel and from here you have to add a new adjustment layer click here to add an adjustment layer click ok click and drag it here then extend it now if you want to animate the adjustment layer it will not work from the fx control panel if i go to fx control panel and from here if i animate the scale property under motion you, you can see the video is not animating right so how you can do that you have to again apply effect called transform 
search for transform and from here click and drag it on top of the adjustment layer then go to at the beginning of your adjustment layer enable toggle animation for scale and position from here then you can forward few frames and here you can increase the scale property and you can change the position property just like that you can then click and drag this last two keyframes at the end of your adjustment layer right now if you play it back you can see please subscribe to my youtube video channel. beneath this adjustment layer is also animating right to get it is looking great so that's it that is how you can adjust the scale and position property while maintaining the perspective i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learn something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you need this channel or want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye